have very, very sporty thousand businesses that I've grown over the last 10 years. It doesn't mean that I know everyone on it. And trust me, Khalid is better at listening to social media than I am. But I believe that we have to see the whites of everyone's eyes. We have to touch the flesh. In the nice way, James. But we have to, <laughs> we have to touch the flesh. We have to get involved. Because if we don't get involved, what happens is it becomes white noise. Because all the time, all you're hearing is like, come to this event, come to this event. How many events do you have in a day, in a week, that you could go to right now? They're everywhere, aren't they not? So your time is valuable. So the things that I say to people right now, right this second, when you're looking at an event, it's like Khalid said, when the lady came up to him and said, I met you, I don't need to speak to you anymore. Really? You're here to build a relationship with someone who's well connected, who will get you into doors that you don't even know about yet. But if you don't invest in that time, you will never know what could have been. Yeah? I'll give you a good example, and, and, and Khalid knows this because he came down to a London show. Zoho. Does anyone know Zoho? CRM company, massive in India and obviously the States, and they pretty much fly in. And one of my event directors managed to get them in. To London, and I was thinking, I met you three years ago. I emailed you after the conversation, followed it up, and then you didn't respond to my call. But I kept on emailing. But because, you know, one of my guys was in the right place at the right time, they decided to interact with us. So how many people in the room will you meet today and think, we're never going to do any business with each other? Because there's no value, you know? Because you're running a small organization. Because you're not right for me because I'm looking for the big boys or the big organizations. How wrong is that? Because these people, you know, every one of us are connected to somewhere. Someone said to me once, we are 10 spaces away from being connected to the Prime Minister, to the President of the United States and the Queen. I don't know so much about that. But I do believe that we're all connected somewhere with the right people in the room if we invest the time right now to get to know people. Because you're not going to open your black book and say, here you go, here's all my connections. Come and enjoy yourself. Because you want to know, can I trust you? And do I like you? Because if I don't like you, I'm not going to do business with you. you know? Because we talk about all these things, about the... Networking, it's about building trust, it's about building friendships and building relationships. Yes, absolutely. But let's not ignore the fact it's also about doing business. And it's okay to be honest and upfront with someone. It doesn't mean you're going to scrub them off your, your, your good list, but it just means that when I talk to you, you said something to me that may be of an interest. I'm not going to turn around and do the hard sell on you. But you know what? I'm going to ask you the question. Are we ever going to do business? No? Yes? Maybe in the future. And if each party is honest with themselves, the economy will grow. You will grow your business. I grow my business extra normal because I ask the question, are we going to do business? Sorry, do you say ask the question, do you ask it aloud or do you say it in your mind? Mm -hmm. In your mind, allowed, but you ask a question generally when you're speaking to someone. What I mean is, don't do it straight away, because the first thing is, you're going to do business. You're going to go, what? How but what I mean is, when you've invested the time, and you've got to know someone, and you've seen them in the network and all the rest of it, you know, or simply what I tend to do is I take the business card and say, is it okay to give you a call or send some information? You'd be surprised the amount of people would turn around and actually say, I like what you've got there. Yeah, I'm interested. Because generally people are busy, aren't they? Business owners are busy. But if you've got a proposition that they can have, they will say yes or no. And the easiest solution is when you're following that up, everyone's calmed down from the height of the networking. They don't have to see the whites of their eyes. They don't have to feel that you're right in front of them. They can have the privilege of saying no. But at least you've asked that question. And what I mean by that is it doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong to carry on networking because, hey, you know, they're still a valuable asset to you. Because as you grow your business, as they grow their business, they become more connected, 
Or in some respects, some people have decided working for themselves is not the right thing anymore. And they've gone off and worked for big organizations. A good example of that. There was a lady who used to go networking, and one of the guys said, nah, she's too small, I'm not interested. Six months later, she ended up working for Barclays. And she got a senior role in Barclays. And he said, oh my God, she works at Barclays now. She's head of the marketing. I, 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 I can go and talk to her. Guess what happened? <laughs> not interested. When you thought I had nothing, you weren't interested in investing in me. So why do you think now I've got something is investment in you?